all right what's up guys so <clears throat> today i'll be doing a review of my new kayak which um i've had it for about a month so i figured you know I'm not one of those couch fishermen and give it some time before i give it an honest review um, but it's a 2021 hobie outback um, I did add a couple upgrades to it. I got the a power pole back there, power pole micro with the um, eight foot spike. And uh, I got a Hummingbird Helix 7 that I did have rigged up. Um, that's all set up on my Guardian plate. Um, but uh, yeah, over at Roger Williams Park, just gonna do a little bit of uh, fishing basically the small town park in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, I had a tournament I actually did this weekend here in my buddy's bass boat. We got second place. Um, caught a couple nice ones and a lot of numbers so kind of got me wanting to come back here give it another round you know. But uh, had a really crazy nor'easter come through this weekend. Drop the water temperature like pretty severely so I don't know these fish might be weird they're definitely chewing this weekend on Sunday not so much Monday but um yeah just out here um so we'll go through the kayak a little bit I'll just kind of make a couple laps um you know we got the 180 drive obviously um, come stock with the turbo fins and the new Outbacks um, the drives feature kickup fins so if you ever hit a log or anything you don't really have to worry about damaging your drive which is really a game changer for fishing in shallow water I mean my whole mentality is fearless now I used to have a 2015 Outback and I broke my share of mass and bent them and had to bend them back on the water and you know inevitably you're gonna hit something um, no matter how hard you try to avoid it but um yeah that's definitely helped it's also got a kick up rudder so the rudder on here it does also a pretty well job in terms of turning you know you got a pretty decent tight turning radius here so I'm able to do a 180 relatively easily. Um, that's something that I think they definitely improved on with this hull design. Um, I do like the control of it. Turning radius is just being able to turn into the wind and stuff is you know really helpful and you know can prevent some frustrating times in the water. Um, the speed also is pretty good. I mean. This has got turbo fins and I can reach speeds of five miles an hour. Right now I'm doing five pretty quickly. And I mean, this Outback cruises, you know, they definitely designed this hull for more speed and it's a little bit more of a wet ride in rough water, but I don't really mind that. I'd rather have the extra speed and it's definitely better tracking wise. I'm able to really stand up easily down here I added some soft decking as well to kind of deaden the noise but uh I'd, I'd kind of compare this to the feeling of standing on a paddleboard I mean I'm able to I was at Candlewood Lake doing the KBF trail event a couple weeks ago and a lot of it was looking for beds and I would basically have this all set up um, just to kind of paddleboard and look for beds. And I had the rudder. Oh, there we go. Kick up breath in. Hitting some logs. But I had uh, my my gear all set up for that. But a little turtle. But yeah. Um, what else about the kayak? So storage-wise. I do like this feature they got, which is a nice little hatch. Um, you can kind of keep your stuff dry and your tackle. Also, these A-trails are stock on all of them. The rubber netting, it's nice. These little 
kind of spots for your tools, scissors, pliers. I mounted my wireless um, control for the power pole right here. That's not in the hull of the kayak, so that's nice to be able to like screw into something that isn't the kayak. And so I do like having these stock. Um, and uh, for batteries, I got a couple um, 12 amp hour ionic lithiums, which are kind of a smaller lithium battery company. But the cool feature is that um, you can connect to the batteries via Bluetooth and get an idea of how long your battery is going to last based on the draw that you have. Um, so it kind of prevents you ever from running out of uh, battery on the water. Power pole is very low draw, but the Helix definitely will eat some battery on a long day, especially if you're, you know, side imaging and going around. But, uh, yeah. Um, another feature I do like is that you got rudder controls on both sides. So left or right hand, you can control the rudder. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I went with the Outback because my body type, it fits me. I'm 160 pounds, you know. This necessarily not, might not be the right kayak for you. Um, if you're a bigger person or you're looking for a more stable platform, I guess, uh, you can get a bigger kayak, you know, Pro Angler or something along those lines but uh yeah this i've had the 2015 outback i had it for five years and i really fished it pretty hard and i really liked it but this is definitely a big change um one of the one things i did notice is that the it's kind of lower to the water this kayak i think that's what helps with the speed uh, i actually get better fuel mileage when i'm towing it as well i'm not towing it uh Got it on the rack of my van, so I noticed that it must be a more aerodynamic hull, but All right, let's get to some fishing now, you know, let's try and get a couple bass Get this fish this uh, Kayak lined up a bit. I got the KBF um, Challenge series for this month that just started so Try and throw a few fish on that see what happens, but uh, yeah <laughs> 